quick, and then uh, we'll go back to that solo. This is using the minor pentatonic scale in the in in this uh, in this key of D, and it's actually the major what's called the major pentatonic in the key of F. Okay, so it's kind of weird, but I want you remember that little pattern that we did. Pink Floyd. Okay, same thing. Okay, now that's the first position in the key of D because it starts on a D right here. Okay, this is an E because at the 12th fret everything starts over E A D G B E E A D G B E on the 12th fret. Does that make sense? Okay, so so we've got D here. So we're starting on D, and that's where we're that's where we're going to do the solo again. Let's go over the solo quickly, and uh, so we're running out of time. And then I want to give you an idea, uh, a little frame of reference for the solo. Let's play. Oh, let's back it up a little bit. Here we go. Okay, now what he's doing there, that, that whole thing now, the, the solo, in the middle of the solo, it switches keys. So, so it's kind of weird and we won't go into why that is or whatever. But if you want, where he got that was like the first, um, we'll kind of, kind of explain this and build on this next time, okay? This takes a while. So keep on playing the solo. Uh, okay, if you listen to the beginning of the solo, the chords behind it, Okay, the first the first chord is is an F. You can hear him playing that. I think it's like yeah. So it starts with an F. Uh, what did I do? I have to, okay. So it's like starting on an F and then going down to a D sharp and then, and then it's going to a B flat. Okay, so it's like, well, just for sake of argument, that is in uh, F, okay? So you're playing in the key of F because he's, I just tell you, hey, dude, it's the key of F. That's what you gotta play a solo in. Well, you're like, well, Matt told me, like, when I play something in the key of F, I have to find an F, okay? Here's an F on the E string. Here's an F, right? Because everything starts over. And I can play this little. Well, the problem is, we're playing F major. We're not playing F minor which would be that. If we're playing F minor, that would totally work because this is called a minor scale. This is not, this is F major. This note and this note, that are, this note is in the scale. That note and this note is in the, the F major chord. Listen to how good those sound together. It's, it's beautiful. They sound terrible. So, here's what you do. In order to play that same little pattern, all you do is you're like, okay, this is an F major. Well, Matt taught me to play the major pentatonic. What I can do is play that same pattern. I just find the F and I go down a step. So that's two frets and a half. 
okay? That's one, two, three frets down. Does that make sense? It's kind of weird. And you play the F, uh, you play this, you play the minor pentatonic, okay? It's called the major pentatonic. It's really weird. So, watch this. If he takes this chord, That's the chord that he's playing. That didn't work. Now, what I do is find the half, move it down to step and a half. Okay, and those work. Okay, so. Then you start to figure out like where these chords go and all that stuff. So what I want you to do is keep on working on the solo, but also memorize, well that's just the first position of the minor pentatonic scale, okay? That's, and you gotta be able to do that in any key and switch it around. So I'll, I'll show you.